You guys, I am not feeling good, which is pretty rude of my body. I have been coughing all day. <laughs> and life's really hard, and I know other people have it worse than me, but I was like, you know what, I'm going through it. So I thought I would make lemonade out of these lemons and um, do a little sickness haul. I sounded like a fucking dial-up tone. I <laughs> when you're sick, the number one thing you need to do is be comfy. Because nobody else is gonna hug you if you're sick. Nobody will hug you. So you need to hug yourself and wrap yourself in swaddle. I think that's the proper term. One thing you're gonna need when you're sick is a beanie because your hair is gonna look like shit. You don't have the time or the patience to hold up a hair dryer. The strength required for that is too much. So just gonna throw a hat right on. You're also gonna only wanna dress in sweatpants because let's get real, you need soft comfort things. I opted for this um, hoodie that kind of looks like an uncut dick because when you're sick, you're not getting dick. So this is the closest that I'm probably gonna get. Um, now the next thing I would recommend if you're sick is a get well card because Lord knows you have no friends that are gonna send you one. So I opted for one that says, wishing you a speedy recovery, take care of yourself, whatever you do, and remember that somebody cares about you. In this case, it's me because none of my friends fucking care. Now my doctor said that I have acute bronchitis right now, so he prescribed me this Ventolin HFA, I don't know, it's an inhaler, oh my god. I should probably read the instructions. Spray it into the air away from your face. Shake and spray the inhaler like this three more times. Oh. Gatorade's gonna replace electrolytes. Electrolytes do something in your body, I think. This one's called Thirst Quencher, which cures a lot of symptoms that I'm currently having. And not only is it purple, which is gay to begin with, but it also um, is called Fierce, which they are really just going for my purchase. And somehow, it worked. Mm. Delicious. Another thing you're gonna need if you're going through it is soap. Because the probably the thing that got you here is your grubby ass fingers. I don't know where they've been. I don't know who they've been in. And they probably got like all over your face. You probably like picked your teeth and then you got like shit in your mouth or something. I don't know. Whatever you touch got you sick. So wash your fucking hands. You're disgusting. Another thing you're probably gonna need if you're sick because you may be showing symptoms that might be like a cough, a cold, a fever, a runny nose, but you never know what the next symptom's gonna be. So I highly recommend these Huggies diapers um, because one minute you may be sneezing the next minute you may be shitting and you don't want to get to that point without diapers now I opted for the little swimmers not only is it the number one choice of moms but it's also like okay you never know if you're gonna start shitting but you also never know if it's gonna be flooding be prepared now when it comes to cough medicine I just am under the impression that you can never have too much so I've got fucking drinks and capsules for days. But also, if you're a child, don't take any of this without your parents' permission. I consolidated all of my pills into this one, the capsules. And so inside, I got, oh, oh me, oh my. Now the next thing that I'm gonna recommend while you're sick is to have an unlimited data plan, okay? Um, it's very important to let people know that you're sick because if, you, if people don't know that you're sick, are you really sick? Now along those lines, you're also gonna wanna have a charger, a long charger. I just bought a long charger. Hold that thought, let me get that long charger. In fact, it should be long enough to reach all the way over fucking here if it were good enough. Um, but look at how long this charger is. I need you to know, oh my God, there I was. I was hanging out with some friends. I was charging. I didn't even know where the closest plug was. I was already charging because look how long it's got a little ball in the middle of it. Look how long this charger is. Now the next thing I recommend to anybody who's going through a certain illness right now would be this claw machine device thing. If your Gatorade's across the room, if like your phone's on the fucking floor, if somebody if tries to fucking insult you and you need to snatch the wig. So the next thing that I recommend, you are gonna wanna build up that like inner defense, okay? And with that, you need to take your gummy vitamins. I opted for women's because men are fucking weak. Now the next thing that I recommend is some Burt's Bees because you're probably dehydrated and your lips are the first to get affected. Now also, if you're white, you probably have the smallest lips of all time. You may notice that I don't have a fucking upper lip and I hear it from you guys every fucking day. So I gotta take care of what I got, okay? Yeah, I don't have much, but like fucking, if that goes to shit, I got nothing. 
Now, if I have to pick one upside to being sick, it is that I get to have matzo ball soup when I want it. There is this place in LA, if you live in LA, it's called Cantor's Deli. I always get it with one big, huge matzo ball, all the broth, and that's apparently good if you're sick, and carrots, and noodles, and it comes with bagel chips, and it is just the best. I love it. Pray for me. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That'll be your way of saying get well soon. I want to know if you're sick, what's the thing you need? What's the one thing you need in your life? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to see my latest video, click right there. If you want to hear my latest podcast, click right there. If you want to be my person of the week, click right there. I love you. Uh, I would hug you, but I don't want to get you sick. I'm going to go. I love you. Mwah. Bye, friends. Okay, so I have to go.